Have you ever been in a situation where you found yourself asking, is this what my life is going to be like? Ten years ago, I found myself sitting in the stairways of a metro station. It was late at night. I remember being cold. I remember being hungry. And I remember being scared. But what I remember the most was I kept asking myself, is this what my life is going to be like? Well, as you can see, here I am today, and I'm guessing you're wondering how did I go from being homeless to standing on this red dot today, to being a mother and running a tech company that works towards providing digital programs and that works towards providing women and youth and encourage, encourage them to pursue careers in technology. Well, have you ever heard the saying that goes, if you ever want to change your life, change how you think? I was so overwhelmed by my situation, I was so overwhelmed by pain, that I gave up. And it took me looking at my life at that moment and deciding that I deserved more. I deserved a chance to be here one day. I deserved a chance to leave. And by making that decision was the first step to changing my now. So at the age of 16, 17, I got put into my first home. And I remember standing underneath, actually, it was the first time I took a shower in such a long time, and I remember standing underneath the water. And as it, cool, as it poured over me, it felt like it was erasing everything that ever happened. And I even found myself asking, did that just happen? Was that my life? So by taking care of my basic needs, so not having to worry about what I'm, where I'm going to sleep or what I was going to eat that night, I was able to get back on the path that would lead me to changing the world. And for that path to be able to be created, I needed to go back to school. And I applied to several schools, and all I got was rejection, due to where I've come from. The fact that I had to quit school when I was 15. The fact that I used to be homeless. I felt maybe I was not worthy. Maybe I was dumb. Until one day, I got accepted into a cooking program. <laughs> Who would have thought? So, <laughs> uh, and by that acceptance, that was the first step to my confidence being built. And even if I was grateful for that acceptance, even if I was grateful for the one year experience where I got to cook, yet again, I found myself living someone else's life. So I decided to get back on the road that would lead to me changing the world. And that path led me to cleaning people's houses. I sucked at it. <laughs> I got fired. <laughs> and then that path led to me one day seeing a job opportunity at the University of Brussels. ULB. Now, I don't, ask, don't ask me why I applied, but I just needed a job, so I applied. And then I got that email saying, we would like to interview you. And here I was, sitting in a room full of ten, with 10 people. And many of us tend to do this. Before trying anything, we see the rejection before being rejected which leads us to not doing anything, which leads us to just failing before even having a chance to fail. 
So there I was, 10 people surrounding me, and I was like, yeah, this is not gonna happen. So, you know, I don't, I don't even know why I stayed there, so it didn't seem real. So I passed the first interview selection. Wow. And then I got an email for a second interview, and I was like, okay, this is still a joke. And then the third interview, I found myself sitting in the director's office, big table, and things got real. Now, I don't know about you, but during the interview process, I was just so scared. I was so nervous. I was mumbling. I was doing a terrible job about on selling myself. And the director did something. He switched to English. And I was like, maybe that's my chance to impress him. So I did what actually now many people that I employ do. I am going to be the exemplary employee. I will come in early. I will work late. I will do anything you want me to do. Just give me this opportunity. And then, till this day, I don't know why he chose me, but I would like to tell myself that he saw an invisible potential that I could not see in myself. And he gave me the chance that led to me to changing the world. So while I was working at the university, one day my head of department came to me and said, uh, Nadia, so the webmaster is gonna be off for a couple of months and we need you to go to the IT department and learn how to code. <laughs> Does, who knows the IT guy here? Okay, so I was watching the IT guy, and if you, if you know the IT guy, is like, I just felt like IT was not for me. Because to what I saw, and to what I felt, and my life experience was that I was not good enough, maybe not smart enough, maybe incapable of doing such a complex task. So after resisting, a week of resisting, my boss came to me and said, listen up, Nadia, you will go to the IT department or you're fired. So I had no choice. <laughs> so she dragged me across the campus into the IT department, and the moment we entered, I told her, look, I don't fit in here. They're all men. So I was like, yet another excuse. I don't want to do this. But she's like, keep on going. And then I arrived at the webmaster's table. He opened his computer and showed me lines of code. And at that moment, I had a ding, 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 ding moment, I call that. That was the moment I said, oh my God, I get this. I understand what you're saying. Because he explained to me each line and it didn't seem that complicated. It seemed very logical. And finally finding something that I got led me to want to pursue it further. Let me see where this could take me. Let me see what this could lead to. So I spent a year in a 12 square meter studio, in the dark, learning how to code <laughs> on Google. And I have to say, it was a mix of feelings. It was great, but it was also challenging. But I finally learned how to code, and I finally got that freedom we are all looking for. That freedom to express ourselves in our own way. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because no matter what situation you find yourself in, no matter what valley you have to walk through. You have to first change your mindset before you can change anything. Seems so simple, but yet very impactful. And when we are here at the end, I would like you, like, like I did so long ago, 10 years ago, I want you to look at your neighbor and say what I told myself morning, evening, basically the, every day. 
Now is not forever. Please. Thank you.